we've been dancing for so long under the stars I feel that the grass will cut through my skin All the pills we take have seemed to prolong Our existence but I don't feel alright I would rather be alone than Hi everyone, it's Super Kitty Ninja here and welcome or welcome back to my channel Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a GFX for beginners This is super easy and I'm using Blender 2.79 and since it's for beginners, I'm not going to be using rigs, but that will be in a future video. First things first, the apps we're going to be using are Roblox Studio and Blender 2.79. The download links will be in the description below. Also, just to let you know, you can only make a GFX using Blender on PC or Mac. I recommend watching the video first so you can kind of get an idea of what you're going to be doing and then rewatch while making the GFX. Let's get on to the how to make a GFX for beginners tutorial. First, you're going to want to go to Roblox and search in the search bar literally anything and then click library. It should bring you to a page like this. And on the left side of the screen, you're going to want to press where it says plugins, scroll down till you see load character pro, click on it and install. If you don't have Roblox Studio already downloaded, make sure you do that now. Once you've downloaded Roblox Studio, it will ask you to sign in. So just sign into your Roblox account and it will bring you to a page like this. You're just going to want to press base plate and wait for it to load. It generally takes longer on PC. Once you're to a screen like this, go up to the top left corner and you'll see where it says home model test view plugins. Click plugins and choose the load character plugin you just installed. Once you press that, this should pop up and you're going to want to search any Roblox username. I'm just going to use my avatar. Before you spawn the avatar, make sure the spawn at origin X is checked and then you press R15. Then when your avatar pops up, you can X out of the plugin. To move around, which in Roblox Studio you don't really need to, but if you want this thing here, you can position the screen. You can also use the arrow keys to move forward and back, and you could use W to go forward, S back, D right, A left, E up, and Q down. But like I said, you don't really need it for Roblox Studio. Also, sometimes when you spawn your avatar, it can look a little funky and distorted, but when that happens, you just spawn your avatar again. So now that you have your avatar, go over to the right side of the screen to explore and if you don't have this go to view and press a game explorer so now it should be there you should see your avatar highlighted and you're going to want to place your cursor over it and there should be a little plus sign right by the username right click the plus sign and go down to export selection save your character whatever you want to and I'm just gonna name mine super kitty ninja that's all we needed for Roblox Studio, so you can exit out of that. <laughs> now the next app we're going to be using is Blender. There are newer versions, but they can be somewhat complicated. In my opinion, this is the easiest version. This is Blender 2.79, and if you haven't downloaded it yet, now would be the time to do so. Link in the description, one to two a screen like this. Just click out of this cool animation by simply clicking somewhere else. Now you see this cube that's selected. Just press X on your keyboard, then press delete. Here at the top, make sure you stay on Blender Render. Now you're going to want to go to the top left corner and where it says file, left click that and then go down to import, then wavefront obj. Now you're going to want to go to wherever you saved it, find it, import it in the top right corner. Your avatar should pop up. Press shift, then F, and this is how you position your camera. Just like Roblox Studio, W forwards, S backwards, D right, A left, E up, and Q down. Blender is going to take a little getting used to and to go faster, press shift. Then you're going to want to position your camera in front of your character. Now on the right side of the screen where it says resolution, set the top and bottom to 2000, then scroll down to where it says shading and press sky and make it transparent. That means it has no background. If you wanted a background, you could add a model and you could just look up on Roblox Studio, aesthetic and a few cute rooms will come up but I'm just gonna make this transparent. You can add a background on your phone if you like, or you can even use it for your thumbnails. Next, you're gonna wanna go back to the top and look for the world icon. Go to the bottom and turn on ambient occlusion and environment lighting. Now on the bottom left where it says object mode, there's a little snowball there. Just click that and choose material. And now your character has color. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Your avatar should have an orange outline and to get rid of that, press A on your keyboard. Now on to moving the limbs. Just right click any part of the body. I'm going to start out with the hand. And if it selects the whole arm, you spawn it at R6 in Roblox Studio. So you want to go back to Roblox Studio and rewind. So I'm just going to be moving the arm and what I'm going to do is right click the hand, then hold shift, then right click the arm. Now they're both selected. To rotate can be a bit confusing so you might need to play around and kind of get the hang of it. 
When I first started making GFXs, it took me about eight tries to get the idea, and it definitely won't be perfect the first time. Make sure you have the red line sideways from your GFX. Go down by the little snowball and look for three arrows. If you don't have these three arrows, then click the blue, green, and red triangle. Now click the curved arrow in the middle and it should give you a rotating sphere. While your hand and arm are still selected on the rotator, place your cursor over the green line and left click. Then press Y on your keyboard. Slightly move your cursor to the left and it should move sideways just like this. I'm going to position my character with one hand on the hip and one hand on her face. You don't have to do this pose, but this is the pose I'm going to be doing for the video. So I suggest you do this pose first. If the arm didn't go the way mine did and it went the other way, go to the left side of the screen and scroll down. At the very bottom, it says history. Click on that and press undo. If the color didn't match the green line and it doesn't go sideways, then try red or blue and do the same thing. But press X instead of Y if you're using red or press Z instead of Y if you're using blue. But usually it stays at this color. It really depends on how you position your character, but trust me, you'll get used to it when you practice. Now, once you have your arm, just like mine, go back to the three arrows and click the first arrow. Here you have another tool. Blue goes up, red goes sideways, and green goes forward and backward. Just bring your arm up just a bit by dragging upwards on the blue arrow, and then drag the red arrow right. To make the arm look more realistic on the body, I'm going to go back to the rotating sphere, place my cursor over the green line, left click and press Y twice, then drag to the left slightly. If what I did before with the green line didn't work for you, then most likely it won't work again. So just do the same color you did first. Now, once your arm looks like my arm, left click the green line, then press Y and drag upwards to make it look like my screen. Then go back down to the three arrows, choose the first one, drag down, left, then just position your arm to your body. It doesn't have to look perfect on the side, it only matters what you see in the front. Go back down to the rotator and drag the blue line to the left slightly and position your arm again. If you made ear, congrats, you're halfway done with the tutorial. Now that we've finished this arm, on to the next. It's very similar. Right click the hand, hold shift, then right click the arm. Place your cursor over the blue line, left click, press Z, and simply drag to the right. Make sure you drag pretty far down. Now position your camera by holding shift, then F, and move your camera downwards. Then go to the first arrow and drag the arm upwards. And you may need to move over a bit to see the green line. Drag the green arrow a bit forward. Then go back to the rotating sphere, then place your cursor over the green line. Left click and press Y twice, and then drag to the left and do the exact same thing with the blue line, but instead of Y, press Z twice. Now go back to the first arrow, drag down, and position your other arm to where you want it to go. If you want, you can move around the hand by doing the same things. Also, you can move the head as well. Just make sure you select all the accessories, including the hair and the head, and do it just like you're selecting an arm and a hand. Now go to the rotating sphere, and just move the blue line slightly either way. If you want, you can move the legs, but unless you're using a model, I don't advise it. It's just the same thing you would do with the arm. Now position your camera to however you want your GFX to be and go to the little snowball, click it, and right above material, press render. This is how it will look when it's rendered. So if you're happy with your final look, congrats, you finished your GFX and it's ready to be rendered. So now what you're going to do to render is if you have this thing here, which is the camera, then go to view in the bottom left corner and press camera. But if you don't, go to add next to view and click camera up at the top. Now once you have this square around your screen, hold shift and press F and move where you want your GFX to be rendered to. Position the camera and once you're pleased, go to the top left corner, left click render and go down and click render image. Now your GFX is rendering. This shouldn't take long depending on what kind of computer you have. I have a Windows 10 and it takes max 3 minutes. In the case, once you have it rendered but you notice you made a mistake, press escape at the top left corner of your keyboard. You may need to click it more than once. 
but if you like how your GFX turned out, then go to the bottom left corner and left click image, go up to save as image and save it to wherever you can find it. That's it, you finished your GFX and now you can email it to yourself or whatever works for you. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to get to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed and this helped, make sure to like and subscribe. If you made a GFX and want to post it, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see. The comments of the day are... comments comment down below something supportive for a chance to be up here in my next video and thanks for watching make sure you read the description and have a great week lots of love your friend super kitty ninja bye also if you made it here comment down below kitty <laughs>